my name is Ashley Day. Um, I'm here in South Africa uh, working for World Horse Racing. Um, and it's my first time, uh, not just here working, but here in total. Naomi Tucker, I also work for World Horse Racing. This is, I guess, not my first time in South Africa. Really happy to be back. First time in Durban though, first time at Sommerfeld Training Center. Very impressed mm. by the view, the facilities, and what we've seen so far. My favorite thing about world horse racing is that where, wherever we go in the world, it's sort of, it isn't, it isn't result dependent. We're, we're there to tell stories. We're there to, uh, we're there to showcase that area of the world, to showcase what happens, what happens in that jurisdiction. And I think my fav, that's one of my favorite things, being able to tell the stories that, that people can relate to outside of world horse racing. But ultimately, stories that transcend horse racing, you know, that can, that can access an audience that perhaps are ever so slightly unaware about what what, what, what horse racing does. And so we can kind of translate it a little bit to them, right? And Absolutely. For example, we were at Justin Snaith's yard this morning, mm -hmm. speaking with him about his five runners, but in a way, emotionally, of course, the story was do it again. Can he make history becoming mm. a three-time winner of the Durban July? Those kind of stories transcend the sport. Mm -hmm. When you explain to people how hard it is to win a race like that, how he is getting older, how it's about soundness, durability, how much it would mean for a horse to achieve just that, those are the kind of stories we like to tell. And mm. especially that emotional connection, all you can tell with Justin that when you asked him how much it would mean to him that he kind of started smiling and there was that warmth and that love towards mm. that horse and, and how special that bond is between you know a trainer or even a jockey or the connections and their runner. That's the kind of stories that we're looking for. I think a really important part is we can do all of the pre-production back in the UK. You know, we can read all about what happens over here. You know, there's plenty of stuff available online, but there's no substitute to being here to being here, to being amongst it, you know, to talking to people, you know, stories are stories are sort of piling up now. You know, we've got we've got three or four days to tell all these stories and there's more people delivering more stories to us yeah. and saying you should speak to this person, speak to that person. And so we spoke this morning with uh, Ashwin, the uh, the owner of Cape Comet. Um, he uh, <laughs> you did not want to say his name. I did not want to say his name. Comedy Ding. Comedy Ding. <laughs> Um, we spoke with we spoke with his owner this morning, and it was one of those interviews that within sort of like three or four sound bites, you've sort of you've told your story. You know the excitement is there, and again, that's a story that would that, that, that transcends this sport because he was telling he was, he was regaling of how we watched it at home in Cape Town, and when it won, he jumped in a freezing cold pool. Now, now everyone has has had a victory or a success or some kind of buzz in their life where all they've wanted to do is just throw themselves in a swimming pool. And if you haven't, you're lying. You know what I mean? Like everyone has experienced that emotion, that raw emotion. And all of a sudden, you know, I find myself, you know, we were at Justin Snaith's this morning, but I'm so torn already between six horses, who's gonna win? And every time I speak to someone, I'm like, that's the horse I want to win. You know, like, and by the end of this, I'm gonna be you get invested. all 18 horses invested. I'm invested in, you know? And <laughs> so yeah, look, on the day, um, we'll be active on Instagram stories. It's just, you can find World Horse Racing on all platforms. You know, we'll be on Instagram, we'll be on Twitter, uh, we'll be on Facebook. Um, and what the plan would be is to, is to shoot something more feature length and we'll be putting that out on YouTube. So something that we do is after event, we give ourselves a little bit of time to breathe. We start a conversation on all the channels and then we put out like a nice lengthy feature about our experiences in these places. So yeah, if you can, you can follow the action from here, you know, we've got some racing back in England as well, but this will be taking the priority. Um, so yeah, it's fantastic to be here, fantastic to be able to tell the stories and um, yeah, you can catch it all on our channels. I'll definitely be posting lots of stories just from the experience here and what to look out for come Saturday. And so people just get a flavor of what it's like to go horse racing in South Africa.